Happy Saturday night to you. I'm at a Mexican restaurant here with my buddy Dan. Dan and I have been friends for more than 25 years. Dan's a photographer. We're sucking down the sauce here. <laughs> we he had a fajita. We're in, what's the name of this place? Finca Casablanca. Finca Casablanca. Finca Casablanca in La Mesa. We were going to go to the Brigantine. It was too loud, too expensive. Couldn't find parking or some crap like that. Anyway, so we're going to this Mexican joint that I passed by. Um, they make their own tortillas here. Uh, I've got the corn ones. Ooh, fresh tortillas. You guys, if you don't know Mexican culture, you really got to connect to the Mexican culture. So Dan and I have been promising to connect for a long time. Dan's a photographer and actually one of my influences in my photography. It all started because I used to come to my place at my parties and he would bring his camera and take these really, really good photos. So, so pictures. Well, right. But in comparison to what we know now versus what I was doing with my own little consumer bowl camera. Right. So it was, it was documenting. And we remain friends. Um, so we went to this joint here, and it was, it was okay. The food was okay, but um, service the was good. ambiance is very nice. So when we sit down, um, you know, I said, yeah, that's great. First time here. And this is my buddy Dan. It's Dan's birthday. He goes, oh, happy Buddha's Day, right? And Dan's like, okay, fine. When, the, when dinner was done, they show up with a big plate. <laughs> Wrote, happy birthday, like, like a like one of those little ketchup bottles with like raspberry sauce or something and a flan with a candle in it and then four people came out of the kitchen and the other wait staff and they started singing happy birthday and they made Dan wear a big sombrero <laughs> and so um, I'm going to have to come back here again to kind of pay off that flan that we got because uh, we unduly got that flan that was right hola señora como estas muy bien and so, we're the only ones here now. It was very good. I'm even taking leftovers on Yes. Oh, and the big thing was, Dan and I were just telling stories. And I love listening to other people's stories. Dan, Dan had some really have, fun we ones. We have a lot of stories. We have a lot of stories. And my favorite one was, how old were you when you were working there? I worked in a porno theater when I was 17. Dan is going to be 71, <laughs> so this is a long time ago. And he was changing... The sign. The marquee letters. The marquee letters. It's a porno shop. My dad got me the job. <laughs> His dad got him a job at 17. <laughs> a porno shop. New to, Jersey? Was it Hoboken? I, I got to see the real, you know, the Johnny Wad Film Festival. Oh, my wow. gosh. I got to see the big star at John Holmes. Oh, my all God. All those guys, those superstars. Did porn. they ever come in there? No. No. It's a very sparse crowd. And who else went back? Who went there on a weekly basis? You were telling me. Um, usually the fire department. Businessmen. Yeah, businessmen. But business, did you see the fire department used to come through. Fire there? department would come through every week to watch the watch the movies. Well, not really to check the fire. Check the fire extinguisher every week. And, watch the <laughs> and how many of them? A dozen. Oh, it was a truck full. Yeah, a truck full of them. Who <laughs> <laughs> <Well>, is? <laughs> <laughs> for the lunch break, I'd go to a porno shop in New Jersey. Yeah. Oh my gosh. One of the one of those exciting jobs you never forget. Yeah. It's gonna and go on my on my gravestone. Right. Worked in a porno. <laughs> and just talking about people we know. I mean, a lot of musicians. He does a lot of photography for uh, musical events, and I used to manage a uh, upscale jazz club um, restaurant. It's the gas stop of San Diego many, many years ago. And so a lot of these names I know, a lot of them I've hired. Um, you know, it's a small town, San Diego. And and here we are, just kind of connecting, telling these... We're going to write books about this. Oh, I hope so, man. Them. Look at the, So I was telling them that I do a lot of writing in general, but when I post things on social media, it's long. But I want to remember things in detail, and I want to make it interesting, and I want to make it compelling so that I transport you into this story. You gotta do the same thing, brother. Mm, it's coming. Another time. <laughs> yeah. Another time. Hey, man, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. I'm still backlogged with photo work. Photo work. One story a day, even if it's one paragraph, then build on it later. Anyway, that's how it works, guys. So. Follow me if you want to see what I'm up to. You already know what Pavel is. Yes. Up to. All right. <laughs> um, Dan. The food was good. Come here. Dan Chusid, C H U S I D U S I D S I D. Thank you, Chusid. Dan Chusid, got it.
Because I keep thinking it's a, it's a lettering thing. For someone to write, sometimes I forget words. Facebook. Okay. Is on Facebook? Not on... No, not no, on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. He, he, does, he does. He posts a lot of fun stuff. Not so on the uh, follow Dan. Not on the Elon Musk site either. <laughs> Elon Musk site. I ain't gonna last. Thank you very much. Enjoy your night. Bye bye. Good night. Shall I?